Hello, this is Natasha from YMO Homeschool, and today I'm going to give you a flip through of first language lessons for the well-trained mind, level one and level two. And you can buy a package that includes level one, level two, and the audio companion CD, or you can purchase all of these items individually. I'm also going to show you some extra things here to go along with them. I'm going to start with the audio companion CD just because this is quick and easy. This has all of the poems from both levels one and level two and the different chants. For example, you can see the pronoun chant and song, stated being verbs chant and song, the helping verbs chant and song, conjunctions chant and song, articles chant and song, and prepositions chant and prepositions song. So all of those are, um, the chants are included in these lessons. These poems are also included in these lessons for memorization work. However, um, having them on a CD is really helpful. And you can see here, it tells you level one, lesson two, okay? So the uh, darker color here would be level one, and then the blue color is level two, and that's the lesson that you can find that. And so we um, really love anything audio companion like this. We, I always get it. If there's an audio companion of, or supplement of some sort for any curriculum, I get it. Okay, so level one is intended for first grade. Level two is intended for second grade. However, um, these each only have 100 lessons in them. And there are some things that if you're doing the writing with ease as well, you can skip. And so you could finish both of these programs in one year if you did it every day, but um, that's also not necessary. If, if So if you have an older student, you might want to do both of them in one year. But if you have a first grader, I just do level one, second grader um, who's already done level one, just do level two. If not, I probably would recommend starting at the beginning and just flying through what they already know, but that way it gives them a chance to memorize all of this. So, level one, let me open it up and show you what we got here. Excuse my stain, I don't know what that's from. All right, so we can see here that we start off with nouns and poem memorization. And once it in there's always a separate lesson introducing the poem, but then it will remind you to keep practicing the poem and then we talk about common and proper nouns, etc. In this includes story narration and picture narration. And so for the story narration, you don't necessarily need to do that if you're doing writing with ease because that will be included in writing with ease. So go through this so you can see. So as you can see, talking a lot about nouns and pronouns, and then verbs. You'll see here that there's cumulative poem reviews sprinkled throughout. This also teaches them things like their address, their phone number, their parents' names, their grandpa's names, their siblings' names, how to write those names, um, initials, months of the year, days of the week, um, all of those kind of common things that all kids should know, that's all included in here. All right, you could also skip the copy work if you are doing writing with ease. There's, it's not necessary to do you know, double copy work. You can simply skip the copy work and the story narration from first language lessons if you're doing writing with ease. If you're not doing writing with ease, then I would do those. All right, so we have how to use this book section. And here I'll show you these goals for grade one. To train the child's ear by allowing him to listen correctly to correctly spoken language. Let's see if I can speak correctly. <laughs> to train the child's full, oh, here I go again. To train the child's speech by practicing correctly spoken grammar with him. To train the child's attention by reading aloud to him and having him narrate back to you uh, the content of storyline with using proper grammar. And to teach beginning skills in grammar, capitalization, and pun punctuation. And remember, exposure, not mastery, is the goal at this level. Okay, and so here's some components, um, memory work, copy work, narration, and grammar. Okay, then we'll get into the lessons. As you can see, this is a whole lesson. Extremely short, that's it. What um, it tells you, the instructor, what to say, 
this is the key here that we're focusing the lesson on and now is the name of pers person, place, thing, or idea. It will have the student repeat that back to you. So they're memorizing these things and then it has some explanation for that. All right, and then we have the poem here. They're going to start memorizing. Then on lesson three, again, you're going to review what you learned in the past lesson and, and add on to it. So then you're going to be talking about sisters and brothers and grandmothers and that sort of thing and how they are nouns. Okay, then we'll go to lesson four, proper nouns, first names. Okay, and sometimes you will see an enrichment activity. If the student is already writing easily, you may have him copy family names using correct capitalization. And that's where my um, little extra pad of paper comes in. Now, I got this pad from Memoria Press, but you can pick up a pad at Dollar Tree, anywhere. Um, and you can write, you know, that your family's names and they can copy them. Okay, so um, there's lots of different things in this program that you'll need a pad for. You'll need some sort of paper for. So keep that um, in mind. Okay, and then we have a story narration where you read them the story and then you're going to be asking them questions about that story. Okay, and that's the story narration. So again, I'll just flip through a little bit until I get to, there we go, a picture narration. These will be in here too and you ask them questions about the pictures. Now, um, what I've used this before and it gives you a website where you can view the picture in color What I did when I used this in the past and I'm kicking myself for not keeping it because I'll probably have to redo it Is I actually printed all of the pictures that I could um, in color and um, Made a book of, of them. So that's something you could also do all right, again, here's an enrichment activity. Ask the students to copy the first names of other family members, so on and so forth. Here's another enrichment activity. Have the student write his own name from memory. So some of these things, if your uh, student is a little more advanced, might be a little easy. You could skip them. Again, they're just enrichment activities. Here's another one. On a sheet of lined paper, write the days of the week in a column, skipping lines. Have the student cut them apart, mix them up, and then rearrange them in order. If you save these names in an envelope, you can do this activity as often as needed without having to rewrite them. All right, so that is what this book looks like. Uh, here is some copy work, but again, if you're doing writing with ease, that's not necessary, or some other copy work. Um, and you know, during your week, that's not necessarily necessary. Okay, and so there's not an enrichment activity every day, but they do come up here and there. And there's, there's quite a bit, there's quite a few of them. Um, another little tip that I wanted to mention is something else I did in the past when I used this was I actually went through the whole book and I went through the enrichment activities and I went on worksheetworks.com and then um, I created worksheets and combined them with those pictures and had them all bound into a book. And so that's another thing you can do if you want to put a little more work up front, then it's all done for you for the whole year. Okay, then in level two... That's going to follow the same format where there's 100 lessons, poem memorization, picture narration, story narration, the enrichment activities, all of that. Okay, and this gets a little, a little deeper into parts of speech. You know, it talks about things like homophones and things like that. So this is a little bit more advanced. This is the same thing as in level one. And here's lesson one. As you can see, the first lap, the first noun, <laughs> saying noun and lesson, is longer than the first one was in level one. So as you can see, follows that same format. Here's another enrichment activity. The student can illustrate the poem of the Goops. Okay. It's going to review everything you learned in level one, but at a faster space or faster pace, I should say. Okay. See, they're identifying adjectives, adverbs, that sort of thing. There's another enrichment activity. So it follows the same format. The last thing I wanted to point out are these printable poems. I'm going to put the link in the description box. Um, um, a mom made these and put them up on a website for free. 
And so you can print these out. You can put them in a binder. You can bind them into a book like I was mentioning before, along with the colored pictures for picture narration and that sort of thing. Um, and always have them easy to reference. And so those are pretty cute. They've got, I printed out two copies um, for two different daughters. But um, that is a free printable on a website. I will link in the description box. And so that is kind of a nice thing to have. So if you have any questions about this program, please let me know and I'll be happy to help.